Captain Sir Thomas More has died at the age of 100 after contracting COVID-19. The World War II veteran captured the world's attention after raising millions of dollars for frontline health workers during the pandemic. When the nation needed a hero, it found Captain Tom Moore. His quiet determination to complete a sponsored walk, a source of hope when it seemed there was none. The Army veteran aimed to complete 100 laps of his garden before his 100th birthday to raise money for the NHS. His target was £1,000. He eventually raised more than £32 million. Who would ever have thought that something like this would happen from, from a little family, family joke for £2,000? It's got into this enormous sum, and it really is an enormous sum. With the country on a war footing, this military man from Yorkshire made people believe the enemy virus could be defeated. In recognition, an RAF flypass marked his centenary, by which time he'd become a national treasure. More than 100,000 people sent him a birthday card, among his well-wishers, the Queen and the Prime Minister. I know I speak for the whole country when I say, we wish you a very happy 100th birthday. And in what was the Queen's first official in-person engagement after the pandemic began, Captain Tom became Captain Sir Tom, the ceremony specially adapted for the open air to allow one icon to meet another face to face. Captain Sir Tom was admitted to Bedford Hospital with coronavirus at the end of January when he required help with his breathing. He'd been receiving treatment for pneumonia before that, which meant he hadn't been vaccinated against COVID-19. The disease he had done so much to help the NHS battle ultimately claimed his life. Even in the darkest of times, Captain Tom saw light. The sun will shine and will never walk alone. I, I truly, I believe that to be true. A message we'd all do well to remember.